life happens to us and our mind is like what on earth are you doing like finding our feet paving our way failing learning you don't have to wake up tomorrow and be a completely different person hello everyone welcome to another video if you knew my name is joanna wilson this is the last video of vlogmas the last third channel video of vlogmas I cannot believe what a journey it's been. We've been daily vlogging since the 1st of November across three different channels and I'm very, very proud. I think it's turned out to be about 93 videos in the last two months and I'm extremely proud, which leads well into something that I'm gonna talk about in today's video. And that is how to best prepare for a new year. And I think there is a lot of differing opinions and a lot of taboo about starting the new year and new year's resolutions and changing your life and building new habits and all that different stuff. I want to just give you a simple but effective formula today to set yourself up in the new year in a way that's gonna, I guess, go in with an open mind, I guess, have a bit of a plan of the things that you're gonna do, but I also guess do it a little bit more with ease. I think quite often we hit the new year and we're like, right, this is my new year's resolution. I'm gonna change my life and it's gonna to start today. And quite often people set themselves up for fails in the new year because they get so excited about the fact that it's a new year and they want to change their life. And actually the clock striking 12 on 31st of December doesn't do anything to the person that you are, the people that you surround yourself with, where you live, how you spend your time. It's just another day and I want people to avoid that. I don't want them to bite off more than they can chew and then set themselves up for a fail. But we'll come on to that. So the first step of my preparing for new year and I would recommend doing this today or tomorrow. We've got a couple of days. People might not go back to work until a little bit later in January as well. So over these next couple of days, ease yourself into this process. It doesn't have to be right from midnight to night. This is what we're doing. But my first step and I think people quite often miss this one out, is to have a reflect. And when I say reflect, I mean like a real reflect and review and write down and process everything that's happened this year. This year is a hell of a long time. And I think if you ask yourself, what were the great things about this year? Or what happened this year? You often think about the highest highs or you think about the lowest lows or quite often you don't think before about June time because a year is a long period of time. I think it's so important to sit down and do like a full audit of the year. How it went, reminisce, remind yourself of some of the things that happened, refill some of the feelings that you felt. And I quite like to split this into three things. First thing I think is, what are the wins? What did I achieve? What are the good things that happened? Make yourself feel good about the things that happened in 2023 and really go back to January. Go through your diary, go through your camera roll. Use something that's gonna help you remember everything that happened in the year. So wins and achievements, what I'm proud of, and this doesn't have to be related to wins and achievements, this can be related to anything. How and why did you make yourself proud in 2023? Was it the way that you reacted to a certain situation? Was it the way that you didn't react to a certain situation? Are there things that you overcame? And then the last one is what lessons have I learned? So what are the wins and achievements? What am I proud of? and what lessons have I learned in 2023. Spend a really decent amount of time doing that. Write it all down and use that as your 2023 audit because I promise you, one more will have happened than you think it has, two you will have been proud of and you will have learned more than you think you have and that will spark a really great direction in shaping the things that you want to do next year and where you want to go. I think quite often when it comes to the new year, when it comes to resolutions, we just pluck something out of thin air. I wanna stop eating chocolate. Why would be my question to that. And I think really having a reflect on where this year has taken you and the things that you've learned and how you've developed and where you're going. And there are more questions that you can explore and definitely do that will shape what success looks like for you in 2024. Now, for this next step, I want it to be super visionary and I don't want it to just be bound into the year of 2024. So I think it's really nice at this time of year to spend some time doing a vision board or writing down everything you want to achieve 
or in whatever way suits you best, just being really, really open and honest about the things you want to do, where you want to be, how you want to feel, what life looks like for you. In that festive period, people have a bit of time off. You might have already done it actually in the last couple of days, but we have a bit of time off. We have a bit of breathing space, brain space, and I know for certain for myself, once I stop and relax a little bit, my brain opens up and I get more creative and I think of new ideas and I think of things that I want to do and I want to achieve. I want you to harness all that and I want you to write it down, make it really wide scale. And I think that gets the creative juices flowing, that realigns the big direction of where everything is going. So that then in step three, we hone it down and we think about the 365 days that we've got in front of us dying from tomorrow. We think about 2024. Without that reflection and without spending that time doing that big visionary exercise, I think it's hard to pinpoint exactly where you want to be and what you want to do and what things you want to focus on as you go into the new year. So I almost view those first two exercises as like a big funnel that then guides you into step number three, which is thinking about 2024 and thinking about the things that you want to do, how you want to achieve them, who you want to spend your time with, how you want to spend your time, where you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to acquire, all of those things bound in to the year. Again, do this in whatever way you think suits you best, whether it's writing a letter to yourself a year from now, whether it's doing a vision board, whether it's writing it all down and goals in particular areas of your life. I think there's so many ways that you can do it, but going through that step process of a year reflection of a big old visionary exercise of what you want to do and where you want to go and then honing it into the year I think is a really nice step-by-step -step process. So 2024, what does it hold for every single one of you? I don't know, you might not know yet, well none of us know what, what it holds but I think we have a real good driving force to ultimately decide that path that we go on and unless we go into that path with awareness and with thinking about where we want it to go and what we want it to be and how we want to do it and what we want to achieve. It goes like this. It feels like this since I was filming these Vlogmas videos last year and it feels like not much has happened whatsoever but so much has happened and so much has changed and I've grown and developed in ways that I couldn't even imagine and unless I sit down and reflect on those and unless I sit down and plan the things that I want to do and I want to achieve in the coming 365 days. Life happens to us. We don't guide life. We don't pave the path that we're walking. It just gives us <laughs> what it thinks that we want and what it thinks that we need or deserve. And I think that's the really important part about spending some time reflecting, refining, basically deciding who you want to be and what you want to do. Step four of my process then is once we've decided in whatever form we want to, what it is, where we're going, how we're acting, I think it's really important then to think about, okay, what does that actually mean? And I alluded to this at the start, people quite often make these very big rash New Year's resolutions and choices and changes in January. And I think they quite often set themselves up for failure. Sometimes we make these big decisions or we change our life very drastically and our bodies and our mind is like what on earth are you doing like yesterday you were this person and today you're a person that I don't even recognize and I don't want to do that and your body and mind will fight against you because it doesn't know what being that person is you've not provided it with any evidence of the person that you have just decided overnight to be and that resistance is going to push you to basically not be that person which is why it's so hard to just change or shift things that we do. So based upon the person that you want to be and the things that you want to achieve in 2024, I would now argue, okay, what does that look like? What does that look like in tiny daily chunks and tiny daily habits and tiny daily behaviors? And do I want to start focusing it all at once? Or is it seasonal? Do I want to just start with this one little piece of the pie that's over here? And how does that look? And then what do I want to lay on top of that? When I have nailed down this first thing that looks really good and my body and mind knows, okay, this is the person that I am now, I get up at seven. Cool, so if now I'm a person that gets up at seven, what else can I lay on top of that? 
I'm gonna write for 30 minutes a day because that's what I want to do and that's the person that I want to become. And I think we quite often think that we need to do it all at once and we need to do it all on January the 1st and that's really not the case and what I'd suggest that you do is based on that blueprint of 2024, write down all the things and all the evidence of what that person you want to become does and think about one, how we chunk it down, what does that look like on a day-to-day -day basis and two, how we layer it so you don't need to do all 25 things on January the 1st, you might do one or two or three of the things and once you've nailed down that we layer in another one or two or three of the things and spending some time to really do that I think can put you at ease because it means that you don't have to wake up tomorrow and be a completely different person and it also means that you can be on a journey to be that person that you want to be. I think when we drastically try and make changes in the new year, we're not actually being ourselves with that change person. Whereas if we're slowly finding our feet, paving our way, failing, learning, failing, learning, we are growing and developing. And this time next year, when you write the what lessons have I learned, you'll have so much to write about lessons that you've learned along the way. So that's it, my four steps to success in the new year. We've got a 2023 order. We've got a visionary exercise that casts way beyond the next 365 days. We then hone it down into what we want to achieve in 2024. And then we think about, okay, what does that mean I have to do on a daily basis in order to do that? Step five is then doing it in action. And I know that with that formula, you'll do it. You'll set yourself up in a way that you will be successful and you will achieve your dreams. And I'm very proud of you for that. And if you want, some more of this and some more help during that 2024 journey then definitely check out mine and Ashley's new program 24 it's it's everything that we're talking about it's bite-sized it's perfect little chunks and little things that are going to help you slowly slowly but very effectively progress and move forward in the things that you want to do so thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for all your support over the last two months and beyond that, remember that subscribing takes seconds for you, but it means a hell of a lot to me and massively helps out myself and the channel. I'm appreciative for every single one of you. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me in the last couple of months. I'm excited to see what 2024 holds for myself and I'll be doing everything that I've spoken about in this video. And yeah, keep smashing it. Remember anything is possible. If you just work. Bye. Work, work, down, work.